All right, guys, so I just found a bad MOSFET and I just want to show you guys how to test them as well. So in this case, that's a bad one, so it's a bad example, but here's a good one. So let me show you how it's supposed to work. So the first thing you would do is you look at the little model number there and you just type it into Google and it would come up with a schematic. So in this case, I've already marked it up. Basically, it's a G, D, S, and you don't have to know all the details, just that's what they are and you just simply turn your voltmeter to the diode. So in this case, you actually have to click the button to switch it over to diode, right there in the little corner. And it's as easy as just touch the leads. Now you do have to make sure that you have a good contact, so you might be touching it, but not touching it well enough. So let me zoom in here real quick. And what you wanna do is you wanna, here we go. Will it focus? Will it focus? What you want to do is don't touch the top because that's part of one of the conductors. So you just touch on top and you touch your red red dial, red lead on one side and you scratch it and on your right side. Now if you look at the voltmeter, let me back up just so you see what I'm doing. So if you look at the voltmeter, when I do this, I'm getting a reading. Now when you reverse it, I should get nothing. So see, nothing. This way you get a reading. Reverse it, nothing. Now if you go back to where you were, and you touch this one, and you come right back, now you're getting something. Reverse it, and you touch it over here, and you come back, now you got that. So now, no matter what you do, you always, right here, here we go, in the middle, the two in the middle, you get that, right? Now, if you touch your fingers to all three and you go right back and it's not doing that anymore, so that means it's working properly. So again, nothing working, this way you get a reading, nothing working, so then you come out here, touch the two opposites, then you come back, reading, nothing, now you do it this way, and you got the beep. So as long as you do this, and it resets, and again it goes to reading, no reading, so that means this is a good piece. Now let me show what a bad one looks like. So you could end here if you've already diagnosed it, but here's what a bad one looks like. And again, this one on the spec sheet is also a GDS, so we do the exact same test. So we would hold it and we touch it, and look at this, you get a reading, flip it, and you get a reading. So that's already bad. Now we touch this one and come back, no beeps, flip it, touch these, come back, no beeps. So you notice no matter what you do, you can't get it to beep. So that's a bad one. So what you would do is just simply look at the model number and just order the exact same one. And in my case, that's what's needed here. So you just solder it in, very simple solder. When these are brand new, they just slide right in. The pins come out of the bottom. You bend the little pins over, throw a little solder on them, and you're done. Make sure you don't overheat these. You don't ever want to hold the, the soldering iron on here too long because you can actually destroy it the exact same way. So hope that's helpful. If you guys like that, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, just send me a message down below. Thanks for watching.